Hey there, happy Wednesday. Today is Epiphany, so I thought we would walk through, I would show you a little bit of downtown Tarpon Springs. A lot of people know sponge docks, but the downtown core of Tarpon Springs, which is away from the, about a mile away from the sponge docks, is also a really cute area. And there are a lot of old buildings here and a lot of history. So let's take a walk around and just take a look at this beautiful area that is the epicenter or part of the epicenter of Epiphany and the dive for the cross, which happened this morning. Hope you enjoy, and if you ever have the chance to come witness and experience the Epiphany celebration here in Tarpon Springs, it is the biggest dive for the cross and Epiphany celebration in the United States, so I highly recommend that you come experience that. It is a lot of fun, lots of excitement, um, great traditions happening, and yeah, it's just a good time. I'll put some links in the description of some information that I've written about that, uh, a video I took of that a couple of years ago, and all of that good stuff so that you guys can see what it's all about. So come on, let's go see downtown Tarpon Springs. buildings here in the downtown core are old. They were built in the early 1900s for the most part 1912. That sign across the street says 1918, 1920 in that range. This was really the first, this was really the second place where, the first place where Tarpon was located but the first settlement in this area was Anklot which is to the north and is not you know, it's a little city, but not, or a little village, but not a whole lot there. Uh, Tarpon is where all of the settlement that really, truly ended up growing and happening after this area started growing. And like much of Pinellas County, the there's an old railroad track that runs through the whole county from north to south, which is now the Pinellas Trail. And that's what is in front of us here. And then the old train depot here, which is now the historical museum. like that one and a few others that are coming up these were originally all residences of the wealthier folks that settled in Tarpon Springs and they are now businesses for the most part so here's a restaurant 
this one is now a brew house. And it's nice because it keeps the character of the town and also the history of the town. Some of these are like this one, have been turned into apartments. Probably a sponge house at one time, judging by those big blue doors. And now is a winery. very standard for Florida. The columns are like shells and rocks and whatever they found. Um, it's called Florida vernacular architecture and basically that just means that there's uh, the like the four-sided roof and the front porch and local materials were used is pretty much all that means. So there was a big wraparound porch on the ground floor at least along the front of the house because that in the area before air conditioning 
those big eaves and porches were what brought in, and big floor to ceiling windows were what brought in the sea breezes to cool the interior of these houses. We are coming back into the more commercial area of the downtown core. So we'll talk, take a walk through some of these little streets. It's not a very big area. It's, you know, probably the actual real downtown core is probably these two blocks here and maybe two blocks wide. It's not a really big area. there are people um, dining on the sidewalk over there. up to the Greek Orthodox Church, which is really the epicenter of the Epiphany celebrations.
back in the main part of Tarpon. Headed back to our parking. So I hope you guys enjoyed our little outing around Tarpon Springs and that you have the chance to come check it all out for yourself. It's a cute little town with a lot of great little businesses to support or just to go browse through. So if you get the chance, definitely come out and experience it. You guys know what to do now. Like, subscribe, um, comment, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. And I hope you have a fabulous day.